characteristics of objects in our surroundings. Friends, today in this video, we will learn about some characteristics of objects around us through the conversation between Appu the elephant and Jagu the monkey. Hey Jagu, where are you going with such a heavy box? I'm going to Golu's birthday party. Even I am going there. Hey Jagu, can you also roll your box like this the way I'm rolling my ball? <laughs> Apu, how is it possible that I roll my box just like your ball. Like this. Apu, look at this. This is your ball. And this is my box. Just touch it and see. Is it in the shape of your ball? No, this is not round like my ball. And it has got sharp corners on all the sides. And because it has a flat surface, it can be slided and also be moved. It is not possible to roll it, but I can Surely, slide and move it. Yes, Appu. This box has corners and its surface is also flat. This is why it cannot be rolled. Your ball is round. And that is why it can be rolled. Okay, I have understood that object which has got curved surface which doesn't have corners can be rolled. And those objects which have got flat surface cannot be rolled, isn't it? Yes, Appo. Jaggu. What gift did you get for Golu? I have got this pencil box and a water bottle for him. This pencil box also has a flat surface just like your box. So you can slide and move it. Isn't it? Yes. And this bottle can be rolled like this. Isn't it? Yes, we can roll this bottle and also slide and move it like this. What is there in this pencil box? There are two pencils in the pencil box. Look, Jakku. In this pencil box, the yellow pencil is longer than the blue pencil. Yes, this means that the blue pencil is small. Yes, the yellow pencil is long and the blue pencil is short. Hey Appu, what have you bought for Golu? Yes, Jaggu. I too must give a nice toy to Golu as a birthday gift. Yes, this is a good idea. So, will you come with me to buy the gift? Yes, let's go. Through Appu and Jagu's conversation, 
we came to know such things about the objects around us that objects with a round surface can roll and that objects with a flat surface slide by comparing two objects we can find out about their length you must also try to see such characteristics in the objects around you in the next video we will understand the characteristics of the objects around us with some examples today we will understand the characteristics of objects around us with some examples which are the things here which can be easily rolled we can easily roll basketball ball football and tennis ball because they don't have any corners and they have a curved surface wow apu now come on just arrange these balls in the ascending order of their sides here according to their size we first place the smallest tennis ball then the ball bigger than that then basketball and finally we place the largest football well done appu appu how are we going to take this toy from one place to another place oh this is a very big toy it is not round it has corners and also flat surface for that reason we cannot roll it like a ball we will slide it like this well done which one of these bats is longer if we compare both the bats this wooden bat is longer and the plastic bat is shorter very good hey appu which toy did you like for golu i will buy this toy for golu because he can slide it like your bottle like this and see he can even roll it like this <laughs> come on let's go now today we understood the characteristics of objects around us with some examples in the next video we will see the mistakes we make while understanding the characteristics of the objects around us friends today we will understand some interesting facts about the objects in our surroundings appu look few things are kept over here a marble a lunch box and a tin can can you tell me what kind of surface does the lunch box have yes this lunch box here has a flat surface which we can also move by putting it upright like this well done now can you tell me that amongst the objects that are kept here which of them have a curved surface here this marble has a curved surface 
and the tin can. Hey, this can stand upright, like the lunch box, but it is also curved like the marble. So does it have a curved surface or a flat surface? It has a cylindrical shape. That means it is a cylinder. The surface of cylindrical objects are curved. Okay, I understand that. This tin can also have curved surface, just like the water bottle. Now tell me, which of these objects can be moved? This is very simple. Look, this lunch box has a flat surface. We cannot roll it like a ball. We can only slide it. And the tin box? Oh yes, this tin can has a cylindrical shape. That means it's a cylinder. So we can put it upright and slide it, and also roll it like this. Very good. Come on now, Appu. Tell me one thing. Which of these objects? can be rolled look this marble is round we can easily roll it like this and as you can see this tin can is cylindrical cylindrical objects have a flat surface on top and also on bottom that's why we can slide them but if its surface is curved we can also roll them like this Oh wow, Appu! You have understood very well as to which objects can be rolled and which can be slided and which can be rolled and slided. Friends, today we understood some interesting facts about the characteristics of objects around us. For example, we can slide the objects. With a flat surface, we can roll the objects with a round surface, and that we can roll and slide objects with a cylindrical surface. You two, along with your friends, can learn about some more such objects with flat surface and curved surface. In the next video, we will learn some more. characteristics of objects around us objects with smooth and rough surface friends today we will learn about the things around us with smooth or rough surfaces hey appu what are you doing here look jaggu i have two similar balls when i roll them like this the ball rolls down faster on this wooden slope but on this other slope the ball rolls down slowly why is it so jaggu hey appu your balls are similar but the slope of these wooden planks is not the same i did not quite understand look here just look at the surface of this slope Our hands slide smoothly and easily on the things which have a smooth surface. We also call them smooth surfaced. Now look at this slope. Its slope is very rough. Now come, touch it and feel it. Hmm. My hand is. sliding on this its surface is very smooth 
यस अपू द सर्फेस ऑफ फ्यू थिंग्स आर स्मूथ सो आर हैंड इजिली स्लाइड्स ऑन दैम दिस इज कॉल्ड अ स्मूथ सर्फेस कम ऑन नाउ टच एंड फील द स्लोप हो इट सर्फेस इज टू रफ यस करेक्ट दिस स्लोप हैज अ रफ सर्फेस विच मीन्स दिस इज अ रफ सर्फेस अपू वेन द सर्फेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट हैज अ होल नॉट और इफ इट इज बम्पी वी कॉल दैट सर्फेस अ रफ सर्फेस विच मीन्स द सर्फेस इज रफ आवर हैंड कैन नॉट स्लाइड ऑन इट इजिली यस नाउ आई अंडरस्टूड द बॉल रोल्स फास्टर ऑन this wooden slope because this slope has a smooth surface which means it is very smooth and the ball rolls slowly on this slope because this slope has a rough surface which means its surface is very rough well done appu hey jaggu I am very hungry. Come on, let us go to the kitchen and eat something. Yes, let's go. Hey Jaggu, do eatables also have smooth or rough surfaces? Yes, Appu. Look, here are some vegetables and fruits. Now blindfold yourself and touch and feel these things. This is bitter gourd. It has a rough surface. Hmm. This is capsicum. It has a smooth surface. And this is a bottle gourd. This too has a smooth surface. Absolutely right Appu come on now try and feel these fruits Hey my hand is not sliding easily on this surface This is a pineapple with a rough surface and my hand is sliding easily on this surface So this is a watermelon with a smooth surface Oh wow Appu well done Okay Appu I will take your leave now Okay then see you again Bye Okay so today we have learned about the things that are around us with smooth and rough surfaces In the next video we will learn the characteristics of the round things that are around us spin roll and slide friends today we will see those things around us that can spin roll or slide hey appu what are you doing with this top hey jaggu i am actually spinning this top give it to me even i want to spin it take it Even I can spin the top appu I am having a lot of fun Hey look appu I can even roll this top just like this Yes we can actually roll and spin the top Come on appu let us look for 
more things that can spin and roll. Yes, yes. Look, we can roll this CD on its curved surface and also spin it like this. Hey, we can even slide the CD like this on its flat surface. Oh yes, come on, let us look for more things that can roll and slide. Yes, let's go. Hey Chagu, is it possible to spin this bowl round and round? Yes, Appu. We can actually spin this bowl round and round. And we can also roll it like this. Oh, but its shape is not round like a ball. But still it can roll. Yes, Appu. All the things with a curved surface can roll. Jaggu, look, we can also roll this glass like this. Yes, look here, this plate is also rolling like the glass. Oh, wow! Look, Appu, we can slide this bowl on its flat surface and also spin it like this. Oh, wow! Look, we can slide this plate like this and also spin it on its curved surface like this. Yes! Now look, we can even slide this glass and also spin it like this. Yes, Jaggu. But the plate stops after spinning a little and the glass keeps spinning for a longer time. <laughs> you are right, Appu. Come on, let us look for more such things. All right, let's go. So children, today we learned about the things around us that can spin, roll or slide. In the next video, we will learn to make a tower. Let's make tower. Friends, today we will learn to build a tower in an interesting way with the things around us. Hey Appu, what are you doing? I am keeping the books in the cupboard and making a tower of them. But it keeps falling again and again. Appu, you are placing the smaller books at the bottom and big books on the top every time. That is the reason it's happening. See Appu, the tower will remain stable only if you place big books at the bottom and small books on top of that. Oh yes, now I understand that to build a tower, the bigger books should be placed at the bottom and the remaining books should be placed on top of them according to their size. Yes, the tower will gain stability, balance and strength with the big books kept at the bottom. It will support the weight of the small books. Wow, Jaggu! You have given me great information. Come on, let's play. Yes, there is something in this box. Jaggu, open this box. Oh, 
These are solid objects in different shapes. Can you name these solid shapes? Yes. This box is actually of a cuboid shape. This looks like a cube. This joker's cap is cone shaped. This is cylindrical and this is round like a ball. Oh wow, Appu, you know everything. Joku, just tell me can you make a tower using these solid shapes? Yes. Look, this cuboid with a bigger surface comes at the bottom. Above it this cube, above it a cylinder and the cone shaped object will be placed right at the top. Hey Jagu, why didn't you use the round object to make a tower? Because a round shape has a curved surface and if I make a tower with it, it won't remain stable. Oh wow Jagu! Now I will also make it. Look, first I place the cube. Above it the cylinder. Above it the cone shape. Above it the cuboid. Oh, 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 uh, it fell down. Why did this happen? Oh, Appu, if you place any other object on top of the cone, then... This is bound to happen because its tip is pointed. While making a tower, objects of such shape should always be placed only on the top. Now I understood. I will make it again. This cuboid at the bottom. Above it the cube. Above it this cylinder. And above it this Cone shape. See, the tower is made. Now I understood that we cannot make a tower using round objects and that cone shaped objects should only be placed on top of the tower. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was, was fun. fun. Wow, Appu, you are very intelligent. Okay. I shall leave now. See you again. Bye-bye. Bye. So children, today we saw how Jaggu and Appu made a stable tower. You too can try to build such a tower using all the things that are available around you. In the next video, we will learn counting in groups through examples.